happy to know that I just got my booster shot after my first primary series of vaccination, which is Sinovac. And I chose to get Pfizer as a booster as I have the option of whether homologous or heterologous vaccine as booster shot. And as I expected, I can really feel the difference between the two kinds of vaccine. I was actually completely asymptomatic with Sinovac, except for mild soreness of the arm. But after the booster shot with Pfizer dose, there was soreness in the arm with the feeling of being feverish, but no fever or my temperature was normal. And this lasted for approximately 24 hours and associated with significant body malaise and occasional tolerable throbbing headache. I was still able to see my patients in the clinic on the next day, but really felt lousy. And I didn't realize that it may really actually be the Pfizer vaccine. But again, I accepted this as part of the reactogenic reaction secondary to a vaccine. It means that your immune response is working, trying to build up antibodies against this COVID-19 strain so that in case the true COVID-19 virus based on infection comes and infect me, my body is now able to boost enough immune response to counteract severe disease. But note, all these minor symptoms were resolved within 24 hours. So it is advised, therefore, that's why based on my uh, initial video on booster shots, that if you have frail elderly, your parents who have been Sinovac vaccinated as primary dose, I advise to give them homologous vaccine as booster, still Sinovac, because I don't want them to suffer from those reactogenic reactions, which may make them feel sick, especially if they are already frail at the start. Notwithstanding that these two vaccines, whether Sinovac or Pfizer as booster, will provide the same protection against severe disease and hospitalization. Now, with the coming of the Omicron variant of COVID-19, how are our vaccines working against this variant? Will a booster shot be helpful? Let's watch this. The existing vaccines should still protect people who contract the Omicron variant of COVID-19 from severe COVID cases based on the assessment by the World Health Organization. In fact, the World Health Organization appears to suggest that at present, there are no signs that Omicron would be better at evading vaccines than other variants. In fact, our initial report was based on mutations that were seen with the Omicron variant and showing possible evasion from the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccines because of changes in the virus itself. However, we all know that at present, the data have shown that we have highly effective vaccines that have been proven to be effective against all variants so far in terms of severe disease and hospitalization. And therefore, there is really no reason to expect that it wouldn't be so effective against Omicron variant. Likewise, we know that from preliminary data so far suggests that Omicron did not make people sicker than those who suffered the Delta infection and other strains. And if anything, the direction of this Omicron variant in terms of disease progression is towards less severity or milder forms of the disease. In fact, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the top U.S. infectious disease expert, said earlier that evidence so far suggests that Omicron variant could be more transmissible. Yes, it's true, but maybe less severe. Now, the recent South African study, wherein majority of the patients in South Africa are still unvaccinated, however, has shown 
that existing vaccines work. But in that study, where they used Pfizer BioNTech vaccine among 12 patients, wherein they checked the neutralizing antibodies, it showed drop off in terms of effectiveness. In fact, it was shown to be up to 40 times less effective against Omicron than the original COVID strain. In short, the said vaccine is still helpful in neutralizing against the variant and that the vaccine boosters are expected to bring a significant additional benefit. Now, the data, however, also suggests that vaccinated people should not be complacent as they might still be vulnerable to breakthrough infections with the ongoing Omicron infection. If, however, we will continue to safeguard ourselves in terms of safety protocol, we should be able to avoid this. In fact, it has been shown that if we get breakthrough infections with Omicron variant, it may be due to the fact that researchers found that the antibodies potency based on vaccine recipients against Omicron dropped dramatically to about 1 40th the level seen when tested with the earlier version of the virus. And that low level of antibodies may not protect us against breakthrough Omicron infection. Now, the results could explain further why some high-profile super spreading events occurred caused by Omicron. At an office Christmas party, for example, in Norway, the virus seemed to have infected at least half of the 120 vaccinated attendees. We now have similar cases now with a cruise ship where only vaccinated individuals can join reported at least 17 people have tested positive. Whether this is Omicron or not, we still don't know, but now we have reports to show that one is a probable case of Omicron variant. Likewise, nearly 70 nurses and doctors, all vaccinated, working in the intensive care unit in Spanish Hospital in University, Regional Hospital in Laga, have tested positive for COVID-19 after attending a Christmas party. Suffice it to note that now is the Christmas season. Please continue to practice safety protocols and avoid crowds. What then should we do? Can booster shots help us protect against Omicron variant COVID-19 disease? Well, it is expected that the increased levels of antibodies provided by the booster shots would provide better levels of protection and are therefore likely to fend off the new variant. In fact, Pfizer and Moderna have so far said that they were testing their vaccines against Omicron. We still have only preliminary data and that they would be able to produce vaccines, hopefully specifically tailored to the variant in roughly three months if the need arises, if it really shows in real world data that indeed vaccines are not as effective with Omicron variant compared to the other variants. Whether we need these tweaked vaccines against Omicron variant or not remains to be seen as so far, however, no increased risk of deaths or hospitalizations have been reported among vaccinated individuals who got infected with Omicron COVID-19. And just recently, Pfizer actually updated certain studies regarding their Pfizer booster shots. Although we still need the actual data, this is really some fantastic news for those patients who have been given the booster shots. Because in that initial lab studies, it showed that the third dose or the booster shot using Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine was able to successfully neutralize Omicron, suggesting that a booster with the current version of the Pfizer vaccine has actually been shown to raise the antibodies 25-fold, providing a similar level of protection as observed after two doses against the original virus or other variants. In short, we continue to advocate that to help yourselves get protection from this new variant and other variants to come, please continue to advocate that your friends, relatives, siblings, 
your Lola or your parents should get vaccinated and do get the recommended booster shots as soon as you can if you haven't done so. With that, thank you very much. See you again soon.